We've had some big disruptions over time in over the past decade, and a lot of people aren't sharing broadly in society. One of the things we're going to need to do is rethink our social contract and try to create more broad shared prosperity. One of the sets of recommendations we have in the book have to do with reinventing education so more people can be the kinds of creators that create new goods and services. Another thing we talk about is entrepreneurs inventing new industries that will employ some of the people who old jobs have been automated away. There's always been a destruction of jobs from technology and a creation of new jobs from technology, but that creation requires creativity, the way that Henry Ford helped invent new industries, or Steve Jobs or Bill Gates invented new industries that ultimately employed millions of people. We're not doing that as rapidly as we did before. We also may need to rethink some of our social contract in terms of how we distribute income, uh, more widespread capital ownership, um, tax incentives for hiring people. These are all uh, questions that are on the table. And if we have the right combination of new policies, I think we can have both the, the widespread uh, prosperity and also growth in the economy.